Series 5 1. Can we trust statistics? Can we trust the statistics issued by Washington, D.C. and its federal agencies? Some years ago, I knew a very successful corporate executive who told me that an important aspect of his success was his distrust of all federal statistics. Since his success depended on knowing what happened in his own field, he had men compiling statistics for him. Too many of us have been brought up to believe naively in the validity of statistics. The problem with that is that statistics may be both accurate and misleading at one and the same time. For example, it can be demonstrated that a higher percentage of people who check into hospitals will die than do those who walk into bars. Does it follow then that hospitals are a more dangerous place than bars? Now, that example is an obvious one. Let's consider another, not quite as obvious. A few years back, an article set forth statistics which supposedly proved that all adoptions through state agencies were far more successful and problem-free than adoptions through all private agencies combined. These statistics showed a high ratio of serious problems developing among private agencies. However, on closer examination, the statistics, while accurate, were giving us a false and prejudiced picture of adoption agencies. The statisticians had classified adoptions sponsored by church agencies together with illegal and criminal controlled adoptions. What they had avoided doing was to compare, say, church-sponsored adoptions with state-sponsored adoptions. Using the same data, if we compared all church-sponsored adoptions against all statist and criminal adoptions, the church agencies would clearly come out far ahead. Again, the statistics would be accurate, but the conclusions would again be misleading. In other words, given a collection of statistics, how we classify and arrange them will determine what conclusion we get. Now, our biggest and most impressive statistics gathering agency is the federal government. Every federal agency virtually regards statistics as an important tool for making a case for its own worth, for claiming more powers, and for demanding more money. Not only do these agencies collect statistics to promote their own welfare, but they also create supposedly independent fact-finding agencies to provide them with more statistics to use in Congress and the people. Thus, a key purpose of statistics is to increase the credibility and the powers of the bureaucracy at the cost of our freedom as a people. Our important way of defending our liberties is to distrust these federal statisticians. They have an axe to grind and they are using it against us.